for a second, I didn't think you were going to show. Uh, I always try to keep my appointments. <sighs> so what you got for me? Oh, beauty. Beauty. You like, huh? I like. Got a little bonus for you. <laughs> all right, all right. Surprise. Chance. Worm. Ash. Don't you guys know you're not supposed to play with guns? Fuck you in the neck, Chance. All right, kids. You know the drill. You have the right to remain silent. You give up? Ready? Hit it.
I want to see you, Chance. I hate to be in your shoes. Well, I thought you have been a bad boy, John Chance. I heard you blew up another game. Yeah, Captain, a real nasty move. Chance, I hear the captain's about to make you dead. Better than the coffee guard, dude, at the burger hop. Make mine a double cheese. Chance, hold your pickle. Do that, guys. your personal problems. Sir? Sit down. I just want that goddamn maniac off that roof. He's got a gun, you've got a gun. He uses his, you use yours. Got it? Sit down. I am sitting. Don't you ever get tired of this shit, detective? You're doing my job. This is not your goddamn job. My God, John. No backup. Three dead bodies, an explosion causing $30,000 worth of damage to the neighborhood, not to mention the medical expenses of a, a mild concussion to a citizen five blocks away. Just cut to the chase, Captain. You're suspended. Again. Pending the decision of a review board and the IAD investigation. You may not beat this one, John. You've made a lot of enemies with your freewheeling style. And some of those are on that board. Have a nice day. Shit. Hey, Chance. What? You know Terry Kingsley, don't you? Why? Somebody ripped him off last night for a whole bunch of diamonds. Somebody wants to die real bad to be that stupid. I don't know. I hope maybe you could tell me. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Riley. I'm not a cop. <laughs> what again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Slow down. Give it to me in English. English. Go back to the beginning. I don't know. It went flat. Oh, what the hell is the matter with you people? Why can't I get into my own office? You know, Mr. Kingsley, you're a very interesting man. Variety of businesses. Restaurants, furniture, prostitution, gun running, drugs. Did I leave anything out? Those were arrests, not convictions. Bribing a juror goes a long way. <laughs> you know, Riley, I'm the victim here. So don't bust my balls. Now, I had a million six in legally purchased, registered cut diamonds. And I want them back. <laughs> if you can't do it your way, I'm going to do it mine. I assure you, Mr. Kingsley, the LAPD will do everything in its power to see that you get your property back. Are you all right? I'll be right there, babe. Come on, sweetheart, we're already late. We're going to be late. Listen, if you're going to stop by the office on the way back, uh, I'm going to take my car, okay? Okay?
Are you all right? Let's go, baby. John Leroy Chance. Did we do it with that damn thing under the pillow? Yeah. But you didn't know it. Yeah. Well, I had other things in my mind. Hmm. Why don't you get yourself some sleep and I'll talk to you later, huh? And where are you going? To a very important meeting and none of your business. <laughs> well, excuse me. I don't know what's worse. Being in love with a cop or being married to a cop? You may never know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you know what time you'll be back? Eventually. Yeah. Let's get a meeting going here. Let's rock and roll. My name is Ann, and I am a recovering alcoholic. Hi, Ann. Hi. Any other alcoholics present today? Welcome. You are in the right place. It is a custom in this meeting, as it is in most meetings, to celebrate 365 days of continuous sobriety. We do have one birthday today, and that is for Zach. Zach, come on up. My name's Zach. I'm a recovering alcoholic. Hi, Zach. Hi. Uh, I really don't know what to say. I'm not too good on giving speeches. Uh, I don't deserve this. I really don't. I think we all do. God only knows I've been battling that bottle long enough. Uh, I lost my wife over it. I lost my job. I think more than anything, I lost my self-respect. I couldn't have done it without your support. I couldn't have lasted a day. I mean that. Maybe I should just sit down before I start mumbling up here. I want to thank you for your support and your help. And I think that you should congratulate yourselves. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Go, All right, sport, you hang in there, huh? Okay, see you later. Congratulations, buddy Pat. <laughs> How you doing, John? How did you find out about this? Uh, you know, a little detective work. I mean, you're not the only cop around here today. <laughs> How's it going, Mona? Hi, John. Thanks for coming. You know, I uh, must be real proud of him. Oh, I am very. Hey, you know, maybe it's time for you to come back to the force. No, 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 no. Now, he quit drinking, and he's through being a cop. And what about you, mister? I'll be single till the day I die, Chance. You got a steady girl yet? <laughs> well. <laughs> Why don't you come over for dinner next Friday night, and I'll invite Shelly, our next-door neighbor. Would you quit being matchmaker? 
She's your kind of ride, though, John. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll leave you alone for now, but just for a little while. Listen, you gonna be okay going home? Of course I will. You call me later. You got it. Be careful. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> See you later, Lola. You're looking good, buddy. <laughs> Mona, looks like you got yourself a real good lady there, buddy pal. She's a good lady. Mm -hmm. She'll be good for me. You're looking good, Johnny. Don't call me Johnny. <laughs> you on the department this week? Uh, no, I had another disagreement about policy again. Who'd you kill this time? Ah, these three low lies tried to take me out. So Defending yourself. No backup. Probably turned the place into World War III, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the old days. Good old times, man. Tell me, what you been doing since you left the department? Got in the car business. Really? I don't like it too much, but the pain ain't bad. It's a job. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, man. I mean, you beat it. I knew you could. It's not easy. But you did it. You're looking good, Johnny. You too, man. And quit calling me Johnny. Woo! <laughs> Zach, congratulations on your first year, buddy. Way to go, way to go. Yeah, thanks, son. Now, what about my money, huh? Come on, man. What about the job? I thought this was about a job. It is, but first my money, Zach. Come on, a hundred bucks. Let's go. You make me sick, Alvin. This is all I got. Take the rest out of my next check. I don't understand you, Zach. I don't understand you. I mean, I'm sitting there with three queens up and you're bluffing with shit. Come on, what will you learn, huh? What about the job? Yeah, it's this uh, red barracuda here out on Wheaton Road, all right? Here's the license. Do me a favor, Zach. Try not to fuck this up, huh? Yeah, do me a favor. Buy yourself a set of lifts. Just like you said. You think it's safe? Yeah, sure. No sweat. <laughs> Good deal. All right.
Those son of a bitches had guns out there and they were shooting at me. Mm -hmm. How dare you send me out to pick up a car where there's guns, goddammit. Listen, I could have got shot down there, goddammit, you hear me? I repo cars, you understand that? You don't pay me enough goddamn money to duck bullets, do you understand that? Now I want you to cut me a check right now, do you understand that? Just as soon as you bring me the car, Zach, that I want. What in the hell does that look like out there? Hey, Einstein, listen. Check it out. There's no windshield. There's no back window. The seats are all shot to shit, Zach. So what? Look, Beetle Brain. They're not gonna give me dick for that car at the dealers. When do I get my money? Zach, babe, you know the routine. I gotta take the car over to KK Auto Buy. I gotta get it repaired. Then I gotta take it over to the dealer. Then they're gonna cut me a check. Then I go over to the back and make sure that check's good. Then I come back and I cut you a check. And then you got your money. Hey, Zach, it's out of my fucking hands. You know the routine. You're a piece of work. I've learned to invest my money. I bought this Harley Davidson from some guy named Mike Jones. It's a classic. And woman? Oh, so many women. I tell them lies about me being on the reservation, being somebody big. I tell them my name is Big Chief Iron Dick. Big Chief Iron Dick. Oh, yeah. That's my love name. Love name. You see, dude, woman is like the motorcycle. You must learn to ride her. Then you s sit into the saddle. Then you must learn to throttle her. Nice and easy. Then you must learn to rev her hard and fast. Ooh. And then off into the sunset. It works every time, James. Sandra's making uh, burgers. Both you and your friend can come over. That, that's if you're hungry. My friend? Yeah. She fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This city life, I'm beginning to like it. Once you know your way, it all falls together. Like a kid's puzzle. Hmm. You know what I mean? <sighs> OK, Chance. All day, I've been trying to make you happy. Smile, you said. You got some heavy things on your mind. What's up? Life. Life? What do you mean? Don't mind me there. I'm just tripping without my luggage. I got suspended. 
again. Sounds pretty serious. Could be. I live. I'm a pretty tough guy when I have to be. Yeah, I know. Anything I can do to help you? Sure. Be my friend. I might need one. Always. I gotta go now. Later, alligator. <laughs> Sandra. Later, bear. Hey. Don't be a stranger, okay? Listen, I need this car fixed. Front, though, man. Not tonight, man. Too late. First thing in the morning. Fuck you, Ray. Wait up, man. I'll give you a ride home. You take your Bradley. Oh, yeah. Oh. We got a problem. And, um, uh, what's that? The Barracuda was ripped off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you, uh, could you repeat that, please? I said some goddamn fat clown ripped off the Barracuda. I'll look into it. Thank you for calling. Oh, boy, is he pissed. You're on. Johnny? It's Zach. Hey, Zach. What's up? Hey, could you do me a favor, pal? I need you to drop me off of my car. I left it out at a job. Yeah, sure. I got nothing else happening around here right now. You don't? Mona? Yes, Zach? Honey, could you drop me off at the office? Sure. Uh, I'll be at the end of Ellis Way. Do you know where that's at? Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, I got to help a friend. Oh, no, you don't. I've got better things for you to do. I might be late. Okay, thanks a lot, Johnny. Bye. Tell me now, why did you leave your car? Remember the other day when I told you I was in the auto business? Yeah. Well, I'm a repo man. I popped one the other day and these guys started shooting at me. Shooting? That's why I asked you to take me back in case they saw me. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Just what the hell do you think I could do about it? You're the best backup man a guy could want? I turned in my gun, remember? Come on, Johnny, you never turn in all your guns. Don't call me Johnny. <laughs> No problem. Phew. Want me to wait around here? No, I'll be all right. Yeah? I don't see anybody around. Are you sure about that? I mean, what if these shooters, what if they show back up? Well, I'm OK. You go ahead. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, buddy, pal.
Okay, pal. Where is it? Uh, where's what? My car, man! Where's my fucking car? Hey, look, sport. All I do is repo. Well, you repo the wrong one. Now, where the fuck is it? Up your ass. Now, kindly, drop the gun before I make a mess out of your head. Yeah? What if I kill this asshole right now? Then there'd be two dead bodies for the coroner to deal with. Make your choice now. Next time, make your payments on time. Have a nice day. This ain't over, man. Not by a long shot. Damn it, I told you all I did was repo a car. A goddamn yeah. moment with that. Yeah, well, there's something about that car that's worth killing people for. Where's the car? Alvin took it over to KK Auto Body to have the goddamn bullet holes taken out of it. You want to see that car now? We'll go over to Alameda and take a look at it. Yeah, right. Don't forget to call me when you get there. I'm a friend of Zachary Chamberlain's from the force. John Chance. You a cop? <laughs> no, not this week. Um, his boss, he brought in an old car here. Like, where, where is that? Cuda. It's in the back. Haven't started on that yet. You mind if I have a look at it? Sure. Come on. I'll give you a hand. Well, here she is. That's my baby. Well, somebody sure shot this to shit. Yeah, you know it. Well, you can't judge a car by its pin job. Yeah. Don't know what you're looking for. There ain't nothing there.
see anything? Nope. Well, ain't nothing back there. I don't get it. There's nothing in this car worth killing for. Somebody's dead? Not yet. But I got a habit of being around dead bodies. I gotta get back to work. Robin Finkel? Hey, who's asking? Riley, LAPD. You recently repo a 1968 Barracuda license number UOF-171. Barracuda? Yeah, we got the Barracuda. You know where it is? It's over at the k, &K Auto Body on Alameda. Got some minor damage to it. Good, we're gonna send a couple of people over for it. Call the dealer. Some more impounder. Hey, Dick Tracy! How about my recovery fee, huh? I'll send you a receipt. None of your business, Chance. You're on suspension. Now what the hell are you doing here? That's none of your business. I'm asking officially. All right. I'm trying to find out about the card in Zach repo. Now you see? We do have something in common. That car's wanted in connection with the Kingsley robbery. You know anything about that? No. Then why the interest in the car? Look, the people that Zach took the car from tried to kill him when he grabbed it. Now maybe that's it, Thieves. Uh-uh, no. No, I think we should, uh... I think we should take a trip downtown and talk about this. Bullshit. Okay. Let's make it official. You're under arrest for suspicion of grand larceny. You're gonna resist? I hope. No. But I ain't gonna forget. <laughs> yeah. Put your hands behind your back, Chance. You know the routine. Come on, come on, come on. Chance. You and your partner Chamberlain are in a lot of trouble. Now, if you talk to me, I just might be able to save your life. Get to the goddamn point. The car that Chamberlain popped is wanted in connection with the Kingsley Diamond robbery. Now, the only two people that seem to be interested in that are you and Chamberlain. What about the guy he took it from? The car was stolen the night of the theft. Well, how convenient. Right now, my two best suspects are you two. That's horse shit and you know it. Oh, it fits. Look, you're on suspension. You might lose your badge. Chamberlain, he gets busted out for drinking. Now, you used to be partners, so... You steal the car, you pop the diamonds, you stash the diamonds in the car, 
You repo the car back all legal-like, you take out the diamond, zip, bam, boom, like that, you're off the Rio. Johnny, I love it. Where are the diamonds, John? Riley, do you have the practice of the stupidity just running your family? Riley. <laughs> Thank you. Burke. Booking. For what? Your little escapade out on Wheaton Road. Seems that Mr. Bowen wants to press a few charges. Trespassing. Attempted assault. Assault. Assault with a deadly weapon. Grand theft auto. And suspicion of grand larceny. Did I leave anything out? Yeah. Assaulting an asshole. <laughs> Mr. Kingsley, that cop Riley just called. He thinks he's got the guy who ripped off your diamonds. And who is it? He arrested a cop by the name of Chance. Chance? Did they find the stones? No, sir. They just... I don't care what they did. I want the stones. Do you understand? Good. Now, call Miss Riley and you tell him that I want my stones back. And I really don't care how he gets them. Chance won't tell him anything. Well, then we're going to give Detective Riley some help. Milo? He'll bail out Chance and bring him here. What if he doesn't want to come? Persuade him. Zach, Zach, listen. I'm telling you, man. Your cop friend, he can stew in his own juice for all I care. I'm not your brother's keeper. Listen, Alva, I'm asking you for a little help. My friend's in trouble. That's all. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So what? So what? Listen, you and your cop friend, you cost me that recovery fee on that barracuda. And now you want me to go bail him out? In two words, Zach, fuck you. How about fuck you? I've had it with your smart mouth and your bullshit, you little son of a bitch. You're gonna give me that money for his bail right now. You understand me? Or I'll rip your goddamn lungs out. Yeah. Sure, Zach. I didn't know he meant so much to you. Thanks, Alvin. Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so. Yeah, I do. Your name is Chance. You're a fucking cop. You busted a buddy of mine a while back, Bobby. Yeah. Hey, fellas. We got a fucking cop in our cell. Know what happens to a cop in jail, Chance? Yeah. I imagine something like this. Ah! Chance? Yeah, we were just discussing overcrowding in our jail system. That's nice. You're out of here. Bail the code. By who? I don't know. Let's go. Guys working kind of late tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, we're working overtime. Keys are in it. Be kind of careful with it, huh? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be real careful.
came to bail Chance out. He was just bailed out. He was just bailed out. What is there, an echo in here or something? Let's go. Move it. Somebody has our diamonds. Here he is, Mr. Kingsley. Oh, detective. Oh, no, it's Mr. Chance these days, isn't it? Please, have a seat. I'll stand. Sit down, Chance. You tell Superfly to stop pointing that gun at me before I make him eat it? Barrel first. Superfly. A man with a sense of humor. And bravado in the face of adversity. I do so admire that. Can I interest you in a evening with one of my lovely ladies? No charge. Got a better offer at home. Where are my diamonds? I don't know. And I'm sick and tired of hearing about them. It's not what Detective Riley tells me. Riley couldn't find his butt with both hands. Found you. I don't have your diamonds. But it seems to me somebody around here is being played for a sucker. Sorry to break up the party, gentlemen. I think it's about time we go, Chance. If you insist. We're not through, Chance. Count on it. I'm trembling, Kingsley. I suggest you talk to Riley about your merchandise. He seems to know more about it than anybody else. Including you. Are you ever going to grow up? Never. Red. Milo, follow them and kill them. It'll be my pleasure. What about the diamonds? Chance may be right. Seems Riley knows more about this case than he's telling us. Deal with it later. What the hell do you mean the diamonds aren't there? We looked. The diamonds aren't there. Where are they? Uh, no, man. That, that chance, that, that cop. He was here. He looked at the car. Alvin did too. I don't know. Yeah. They didn't find it. Because you did. No. I swear to God. I hadn't even started on the thing when they got here. You don't know what happened. You better not be lying, pal. Because if we find out you are. <laughs> yep. Well, somebody took the stones out of their car. And until we find them, they're going to all assume it's us. Hey, guys, you take $2 million worth of diamonds and you hide them in a car. Isn't that pretty fucking stupid? Zach, let's assume right. He ripped off the diamonds. The guy that owns the car, he's in on it. Okay? 
Now, Riley gets assigned to the case, and then he pulls the car in as evidence. He pulls the diamonds, and then he busts the accomplices. Now, it's a perfect double cross. Except, except right now, the diamonds, they're gone. The Kingsman is getting pissed. And pretty soon, just because he's in the mood, he's going to start killing people. Jesus Christ. A little bit sooner than expected, huh? I saw some muzzle flash over on the roof. Where? Where? Two o'clock. chance you and your partner here are shit up your eyeballs the tide's coming in Mr. Bell, do you know who I am? Um, uh, uh, uh Terry, Terry Kingsley. And you own a red barracuda, am I right? B Why? Where are my diamonds? I, um, I, 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 um, yes? I, I, do, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I swear, I, I don't know. That's the wrong answer. Isn't it, Milo? in the knee. <laughs> now where are my diamonds? I... We put them in the car, and, and after it was repoed, it just disappeared. We don't know where they're at! Milo, take him back where you found him. Milo, come on. Come on, no, 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 no. No, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. I got the beers. Tommy? Tommy! 
fucking see. Tommy! Hey, nature boy! I got the beer! Tommy! Oh, Jesus, he knows. He knows? Sorry for getting you in the middle of all this crap. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Zach, I know. Why'd you lie to me, man? Why'd you lie to me? I thought you was all through it, all that drinking stuff. I'm really sorry for lying to you. I really am. I just don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. I, I get scared or confused, man. I, uh, God only knows I'm trying. What about your lady? Mona. How do you think she's going to feel? I mean, how do you think she's going to feel after all this time? Sticking it out with you. Find out you're just still a drunk. God damn it, man. I am not a drunk. I'm not a drunk. I'm not. Chance, you're out of here. By who? I don't know. Maybe you got a fairy godmother. What about Zach? He stays. Let's go. See you later, pal. Who the hell do you think you are, Chance? You think you can go around this city doing whatever you feel like when you feel like it? You're a police officer, for Christ's sake. A public servant. You're supposed to uphold the law. Uphold the law. Your job is to find you. Not make, 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 not make. Never shot him. Never shot him. Fire. Fire. I was tired. You're a police officer. Ten years on the force. Oh, my goodness. Your job is to find you. Not make, not make, not make, not make, not make. Not make it. Now, I have put my goddamn career on the line for you, Chance. Because I've had you turned over to my custody. Do not fuck up. You're a damn good cop, Chance. But you have a complete disregard for procedure. You're still on suspension, for Christ's sake. What is it, Chance, huh? What's eating at you? Do me a favor, huh? Don't turn into one of these burnt-out badge carriers. 
Law enforcement is not something you use only when it suits you. Captain. Shut up. I'm the one giving the lecture here. I want you to go home and stay there until it's time for your arraignment. And that's an order, mister. Here. It's not the gun that killed Alvin and Finkel. Keep it at home. Captain. Yeah, what? You want to tie a cufflinks for Christmas? <laughs> Johnny. Zach. Kingsley. He's got us good, buddy, pal. I have your ex-partner and your pretty little girlfriend. Do we understand each other, Mr. Chance? Understood. I want my diamonds. I told you. I don't have them. Mr. Bowen told me before he died he hid them in his car. You have two hours to get them here before everybody dies. How you doing? I need your help. Come prepared. I'm on my way. a lot of time. You know somebody's gonna die. Yeah, I might if I do. Yeah. It's possible that I'm this certain. Make your choice now.
this is the story of three little pigs. One of them stole something from the big bad wolf. And that upset the big bad wolf very much. Bullshit, Kingsley. What the hell do you want? I want my diamonds. I'm very weary of this took what car and when business. If I don't get them back, I'll take great personal satisfaction in killing all of you. Now, let's play a little game. It's called Live or Die. It's very simple. I ask you a question and you give me an answer. It's the right answer you live. It's the wrong answer. You die. Do you have my diamonds? Why don't you put a separate shut up. Shut up! Get the fuck up, you stupid fuck! Shut up! Shut, shut the fuck up! up. Do you have my diamonds? Why don't you put a separate She don't. But it's the wrong answer. a little light chance. First they reach me, then you get the rest.
I think we ought to get the hell out of here. I think you're right. Like the good old days, huh, John? Call me Johnny. Change, 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 change. 